Today we're going to talk about the complicated world of margin calls and the growing difficulties of short selling. Buckle up, because we're about to break down recent events that show how risky these financial moves are. Hey, welcome to Talk Daily. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get post alerts so you never miss an upload. You can also enter our giveaway, but please keep in mind that this is not a video about money. First, let's talk about the big problem that nobody wants to talk about the urgent need for more liquid assets to protect against margin calls. Are financial institutions exaggerating the risks of synthetic assets to make this case? Well, recent tweets from Winfield's Smart Financial Stability Board seem to back up these worries. Commodity funds and hedge funds people who trade are being strongly urged to build up their liquid asset savings to prepare for possible market shocks. But why the sudden focus on liquidity? All of this comes down to one important factor the ability to meet margin calls in a volatile market where there are many warning signs, such as bank alerts and margin recommendations. It's easy to understand strength in your cash on hand. The simple reason for this push is to make sure that assets are quickly sold off when margin calls come in during market turmoil. But this isn't the only alarm bell that's going off the bigger story is that some companies are teetering on the edge and are heavily exposed to toxic assets from OBS and credit size to short sellers. I am see there is a big chance that the stock will crash soon. We'll talk more about the effects of short seller debt soon. Speaking of AMC, let's focus on the saga that is engulfing this stock. As shown by Travis's tweet, the rising short interest paints a bleak picture. Even though there aren't enough shares available for borrowing, short sellers are still trying to make money by using fake alternatives. This reliance on synthetics shows how important it is for hedge funds to have more cash on hand, as called for by the Financial Stability Board. But who is making this possible? Travis tweets about a never-ending shorting spree Citadel Securities and Vertage Financial are the main people behind this scheme. They keep up a cycle of sell pressure that stops any buy-side progress for MC by planning short-selling maneuvers. Another trick is still planned. Despite governmental safeguards, the high number of failed deliveries cited in different tweets points to a deeper problem within the system. FTD is still not settled, and it is being used as a powerful tool for market manipulation. Doug Sifu, CEO of Verdu Financial, strongly denies claims of fake shares and rules out the possibility of a monumental short squeeze, but more and more proof points to the opposite. A tweet from Frank Zone shows the shocking rise in short seller debt, which shows how weak their position is. But why is there a concerted effort to downplay the possibility of an MC? The answer lies in the threat it poses to both short sellers and market makers, as trading stops on MCS whenever they get close to a breakout say a lot about the unease that's going on in the establishment. Even though rival companies like Sinier have tried to steal the spotlight, it won't leave MC's long-term strength. What we're really seeing is a high-stakes game of financial brinkmanship, as short sellers deal with rising debt and falling cash flow. The stage is set for an epic showdown. Will there be a winner, or will the forces of financial conservatism win? That's all we have for you today. What do you think about an MC stock? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.